I finally got myself some RS-485 modules to interface with this. So I got two of them uh, because, well, I didn't have any that would work for this situation. So I've got this RS-485 and 232 to USB. And then this one is just uh, RS-482, uh, 45 to USB. And yeah, pretty cool. This one's just super straightforward. I kind of like the idea here. So this is one we're going to try with first. I don't know what driver this takes, but it did come with a CD. So uh, uh, maybe I already have the prolific drivers and most common ones on my laptop. So we should be good. Okay, so we're going to skip to a pretty cool success here. So this is plugged in. And what I did behind the scenes is I reached out to the manufacturer and they were so kind as to provide me the factory software. Now it's entirely in Chinese and I just spent quite a little while uh, trial and erroring the settings until it spoke and it took me a really long time but i got it it's talking now and we're getting live voltages from the charge controller um, these are all uh, i'll put an overlay on the screen of this with uh, i used google translate uh, an image the image app on my phone and i was able to get all the labels which is pretty cool and it looks like we're getting register information here as well what i'm thinking is we should be able to sniff this data now that it's working and uh, make our own display to talk to it all we need is the rs485 and that's no problem uh, i have rs485 chips and uh, we should be good. Uh, this is pretty exciting. Uh, it's definitely talking. So uh, these look like, I'm assuming, the registers that are, are changing the communication. Uh, I don't know how we can directly translate that or resend that, or replay that, but uh, I bet you I can figure it out. This episode brought to you in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts, and assembly, as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. Okay, I went ahead and installed a free device monitoring studio a serial monitor and I'm able to sniff the serial traffic now while this is talking to the Chinese factory stuff. And I think I can log some of this and maybe we can get something of use. Got it. Okay, we're talking. We go to the factory software here and we are getting all the values. And I figured out these are the commands going out from the factory software. These are the packets going out. Um, these are the PV voltage and stuff. In my serial monitor, I got it into a view where I can see packets in, packets out. And these are the ones, the rights going out and they match this Chinese factory software. Uh, this is the packets coming back and these are the values that we're getting from the PV system and everything else. I just have to figure out how to send these and how to decode these into, basically I just want the PV uh, voltage and amperage and I think that's where I'm gonna have to stop here because I don't know how long this is gonna take me to figure out this is not uh, This is entirely new to me. If you know how to do this, please reach out to me I'll put the dumps and all this information in my git repo down below uh, I'd love to have a little bit of help on how to decode these how to send these over the RS-485 just like this and how to dump them back um, into a usable form and I know what what uh, what they are here and uh, I have the dump coming back the dump files and we can cross-reference it to the values here um, it's just really easy for me to recreate and move the move the voltage around see I can move the voltage up and down here from my lab power supply that's feeding it 13.6 so uh, I just need the basics of the data transfer and I should be good to go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that was a lot of fun. We're at the stage now. Well, I have to take this over to the camp soon. So uh, maybe I'll have to truck it back and forth. But uh, I want to make an external display. I want to hook up a, a 
microcontroller RS-485 and do that with RS-485 and put it out to one of my LCD screens. And of course, we'll let it out open source. This is from the factory. They, they gave this to me. Uh, I didn't say anything about distribution. I told them I'm a YouTuber. I said, I, I want to reverse engineer it and, um, put it out there for others. And they seemed really receptive and they didn't say no. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, cheers guys. <laughs>